Time. New developments now in the financial concerns of a local fire department. Today, board members overseeing the Coventry Fire District got together to try to figure out a solution. As we reported earlier this month, the union representing firefighters claimed the district was a half million dollars in debt. This is the same district where the fire chief was suspended with pay a few weeks ago over allegations of misconduct following our exclusive Target 12 investigation. Where's the chief? Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell joins us live with more from the mobile newsroom tonight. Perry, good evening. Jared, this meeting was originally listed on the Secretary of State's website as an emergency meeting, but the fire department is now calling it a special meeting. An early morning meeting for the Coventry Fire Department has State Rep. Patricia Morgan asking questions. This is the highest taxed fire district in the state and the people are not getting the information. In the meeting, they approved outstanding payments on repairs like fixing tires on their fire trucks. They're now also looking to sell off equipment as an option to pay their bills. People want answers, they want accountability, they want transparency, and they want a more affordable fire district. In the department's agenda for the meeting, it was listed they would be discussing personnel business in executive session. Coventry Fire Board Chairman James Beckham says the focus on their talks was on contracts, not the fate of suspended fire chief Paul Labadia. And they say they're talking about the contract, which doesn't expire for 13 months. Does that really, does that sound like a reasonable thing that you would do? In the meeting, State Rep Morgan accused the department of violating the Open Meetings Act. She says the department hasn't posted their minutes on the Secretary of State's website for months. That led to a tense back and forth discussion outside between Morgan and Beckham. You have standard operating procedures. You have the minute, you type them up, you get them posted. That girl retired. That's where the drop of the ball was. It was never reassigned. And I take full responsibility for okay. that. As the fate for suspended fire chief Paul Labadia, the fire board chairman tells us his case is still under investigation. Live with the mobile newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.